I just love these boulevards down here, though. Yeah. You don't get this in most of LA. How come whenever I'm out gone. here, though, I turn on the 11 o'clock news and, you know, I hear, you know, tonight in South Central, uh, right. drive-by shooting, or tonight in South Central, um, yeah. this, that, or whatever. I mean, right. I mean, they're not making that up, are they? No, they're not making it up, but they're choosing what they're covering. If you turn on TV, on the news, yeah. what are you going to hear about? Dangerous black guys, right? Mm-hmm. Unnamed black guy who, you know, accused of some crime or... Right. You're going to see pictures of black guys doing bad things and hearing stories about black guys doing bad things. And we've heard this our whole lives. Now, the suspect is a black male in his 20s. We are told he has a large afro, sideburns. He was wearing a silver chain at the time. Police say the suspect is a black man, six foot one, 160 to 180 pounds, about 35 years in age. Suspect is a black male, age 16 to 18. The suspect is African American. Police, police, police say the a black man. Suspect, 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 suspect. Suspect is a black male. A black man, black man, a black, a black, black, black male, 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 man, a black man. Susan Smith yeah, drowns absolutely. her two children. She tells people a, a black yeah, drowns absolutely. her two children. She tells people a, a black guy right. stole the car and stole the kids. Right. And everyone at first bought it. Some guy jumped into a red light with her car with her two kids in it, and he took off. That's a black guy, she said. Black male? Yes, ma'am. And I told him I loved him. I hollered I loved him. And it's, it's just a tragedy. The anonymous urban which means usually black, male, comes by and does this. It's the excuse for all kinds of things. Charles Stewart, the lawyer in Boston. Right, exactly. Kills his pregnant wife, says a black guy did it. Right. Everybody buys it. The suspect described as a black male about six feet tall. Chuck and Carol Stewart were robbed at gunpoint as they left a Lamaze class. It seemed the ultimate urban nightmare. You know, the thing I love about this country of mine is that whether you're a psychotic killer or running for president of the United States, the one thing you can always count on is white America's fear of the black man. We've heard the stories on the news and in the papers, and they have killed people. Killer bees, also known as Africanized bees. I'm scared. I'm really worried with them. Rosemary Shibley never expected a nest of Africanized killer bees to shack up across the street from her. But I'm terribly allergic to them, and so are my grandkids. They're originally from southern and eastern Africa. Dr. Warwick Kerr brought some to Brazil in 1956 and tried to mate them with the European bee, the kind that we're used to. But they got loose, took over, and moved all the way to the southern United States. The main difference between a traditional honeybee and an Africanized bee is the bee's aggressiveness. If I was to do this to an Africanized bee's hive, I could have several hundred stings in a matter of minutes. Danny Self raises the kinder, gentler European bees, and he's done the research. The only way that you can tell the two of them is doing measurements on the body parts. Quite frankly, the black community has become entertainment for the rest of, of uh, the community. Meaning what? The entertainment being uh, that the crime of the day, you know, if it bleeds, it leads, uh, gets to be the front story, and then that becomes the perception uh, in the image of an entire people, uh, which couldn't be further from the truth, in my opinion. Um, in fact, you'll find, I think most African Americans are quite uh, adverse to gun possession. In suburbia, I think there's going, you know, there's some notion that there's going to be an invading horde uh, come from either the city or from someplace unknown uh, to uh, savage their suburban community. To me, it's, it, 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 not only is it bizarre, um, but it's totally uh, unfounded. And these pistols, uh, curiously enough, uh, weren't being taken off of kids in the city of Flint, but were being taken off of kids out in the out county area in the suburban uh, communities. Uh, and uh, I didn't think that's what you were going to say. I thought you were going to say that it's all these black kids in the inner city schools that had these guns. No, I th it, it, that's a. It, We've never really had uh, many problems with the guns in the city. I mean, we, and not to say that we haven't, but we, we've had some. But that's never been the biggest problem. The biggest problem has been the gun possession um, by these adolescents in suburbia.